The foreign ministers of six of the world's most powerful countries stood side by side with their Iranian counterpart and the European Union's foreign policy chief to announce the accord after three o'clock in the morning, followed by handshakes and hugs all around. At the White House, U.S. President Barack Obama talked about the significance of the agreement. Today, that diplomacy opened up a new path toward a world that is more secure. A future in which we can verify that Iran's nuclear program is peaceful and that it cannot build a nuclear weapon. A key dispute that delayed the accord was over Iran's claim to a right to enrich uranium, which the United States says does not exist for any country. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who flew here Friday to help forge the agreement, says it recognizes no such right. This first step does not say that Iran has a right to enrichment. No matter what interpretive comments are made, it is not in this document. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif spoke passionately about the right to enrich, but his phrasing indicated the agreement recognizes Iran's program, but not any right. And many times, at least twice very explicitly in this text, this recognition is there that Iran will have an enrichment program. And we believe that to be our right, and we are exercising that right, and we only require respect for that right. According to a U.S. summary of the accord, Iran will have to freeze key aspects of its nuclear program that have potential military applications, eliminate its stockpile of near-weapons-grade uranium, and allow intrusive inspections. In return, the international community will provide several billion dollars in sanctions relief while keeping in place the most damaging sanctions on Iran's oil exports and its banking system. At London's International Institute for Strategic Studies, Iran watcher and non-proliferation expert Mark Fitzpatrick says what's important now is for the two sides to faithfully implement the preliminary agreement. Implementing it will show that they both mean what they say. It'll be very important that uh, the two sides carry this out so that both sides can show their doubters, uh, and both sides have uh, real skeptics and doubters, that uh, the other side can strike a deal and keep to it. That will be particularly important as negotiators work against a six-month deadline to reach a long-term agreement guaranteeing that Iran will not build a nuclear bomb and potentially ending all nuclear-related sanctions, something they say will be even harder to achieve than these first steps. Al Pesson, VOA News, Geneva.